Reverse Mortgage Works presents Living Better, brought to you by Carlos King Interior Design and Bobby Botina's Mexican and American Grill. A healthier lifestyle lets you live a longer, happier life. I'm Lori Larson. Let's get started living better. Featuring Dr. Joseph Sugar, Eisenhower family physician and owner and medical director of Restore Health Disease Reversal. Well, sleep is where our body restores itself and repairs a lot of damage. I mean, it isn't just a downtime in our busy and active day. And featuring Chef David Horgan, creative executive chef at PS Underground. We're gonna be making a Mediterranean uh, pasta dish, if you will. Also featuring Arnell Sater from Perfectly Fit, who will help you reach your fitness goals. Have you done some exercises today? I'm gonna show you some easy and quick and fun ways to get started. Enjoy your life living better. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite activities. We're gonna talk about sleep and the quality of sleep and why it's so important. Dr. Scherger, tell us why is sleep so important? Well, sleep is where our body restores itself and repairs a lot of damage. I mean, it isn't just a downtime in our busy and active day. We need to spend about one third of our life asleep. So obviously that's a lot of time, that's a big commitment. You talked about it's a favorite topic. For many people, it's not a favorite topic. They don't sleep well, they complain about going to sleep, and they have disrupted sleep. As a physician, I get that complaint all the time. So we're gonna help people sleep better in today's show. That's fantastic, because I do, I have heard that as well, that a lot of people aren't sleeping well, so we're gonna tell them today how they can. Yes. Well, first, the sleep actually has an architecture. Uh, there's, there's stages, cycles of sleep that last about 90 minutes, and a good night's sleep is four or more of these sleep cycles. When we're just barely going to sleep, still conscious and aware, that's stage one. And then we, we gradually descend through stage two and three. They can see that on a monitor until we're in our deepest sleep, stage four. And stage four sleep, deep sleep, is vitally important because if we don't get that, our muscles don't repair, our neuromuscular junctions don't. That's the most common cause of a disease called fibromyalgia. But then after we get to stage four, we enter into the dream phase of sleep in which our eyes move rapidly if we're being filmed. It's called rapid eye movement sleep. It lasts for about 15 minutes and there we have an active dream. And after that's over, we might, if we're under a lot of stress and have a lot of things on our mind, we may actually wake up during that phase and then have to go back to sleep all the way through the cycles again. Ah, now I have on my Fitbit, I can see how I sleep if I wear it at night. And so the first thing that I do in the morning is I look at my phone to see how well I slept that night. And many times it's good, but sometimes it's not. So what causes us not to sleep well? There are different reasons why people have trouble sleeping. They can be broken down into primary reasons of trouble sleeping or secondary to something else. Secondary means something else is causing it. Some of the more common reasons people don't sleep, for example, is they might be in pain. It's hard to stay asleep when you're in pain. And a lot of times during the night, your pain medicine may wear off the pain comes back strong and it wakes you up and you're uncomfortable, you have trouble going back to sleep. Another common cause is the breathing has some obstruction. We call it obstructive sleep apnea because sometimes you actually stop breathing for a little while because of the obstruction. Now that obstruction can be in the nose and in the mouth, in the jaw, your jaw can fall back and block your your pattern, or it can actually come from your lungs not being able to expand. When we breathe, we expand our chest and our diaphragm needs to go up and down. 
If you have a lot of extra weight in your abdomen, that kind of blocks the diaphragm from moving up and down and uh, could be the cause of obstruction. So that gets treated either with things like mouth guards or things that will open up the upper airway to continuous positive pressure breathing of CPAP machine as it's known to compensate for that, uh, that uh, weight and diaphragm problem. And obviously that problem gets better if you lose some weight. Another reason people may have trouble sleeping is they're under a lot of stress because during that rapid eye movement phase, if you're dealing with major stress, you've just lost somebody like your spouse, uh, you will wake up uh, and you'll wake up in that dream from the stress and have trouble going back to sleep. Is that because you have extra cortisol in the system? That's correct. It shoots the cortisol, which is your fight or flight hormone. So it really arouses you, makes you so awake, you have trouble going back to sleep. The last secondary cause I wanna mention is if your oxygen goes down. We breathe while we're asleep, and many of us are aware now of what our oxygen saturation is, because we might wear one of those little finger devices. But if your oxygen level goes down, it's kind of like being underwater. Your body will, will sort of panic and get you to a place where you can breathe deeply. So for someone with a sleep apnea or a low oxygen, they'll be aroused out of sleep just to breathe consciously breathe deeper to get their oxygen level back. So all of these secondary problems can be tested for. You can get a sleep study done through a sleep clinic to treat those secondary causes of having trouble sleeping. Hi, Mark Anthony with Reverse Mortgage Work. You like to join thousands of people living better with the all new lower cost reverse or retirement mortgage? We don't have a celebrity spokesman. We're local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. Bobby Botina's Mexican and American Grill. Coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Lunch, happy hour, dinner, and evening entertainment. Bobby Botina's coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. Dr. Joe Sugar is going to tell us how to live a longer, healthier life. Restore Health is a personalized health service that will help you get back to living better. We work closely with you to create a lifestyle plan that best suits your goals and needs through better nutrition, exercise, sleep, and other factors. So, when you choose to restore your health, give us a call. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley, a place called home to anyone who needs one, a place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Come join us. You already belong. And I've heard that you can actually do the sleep tests at home now. Yes, they now have home sleep tests. It's a little bit more limited. You can't always measure your oxygen levels continuously, and you don't get quite as sophisticated a study, but for your first sleep study, uh, it may well give you the answers that you're looking for. For someone who may not, who may be intimidated by going into a sleep study, it might work for them. But what I'd like to talk about is primary insomnia, because I find it very interesting. Many of us have forgotten how to go to sleep. And I like to take us back to childhood. You know, every three-year-old is sent to bed by their parents when they're not sleepy. So they're put in their bed, sometimes it's even a crib bed that they couldn't get out of, and 
go to sleep is the order uh, that we're given. Now, our conscious awareness, we learned how to deal with that. And I ask people, how did you go to sleep when you were a young child and you weren't sleepy? And people don't remember. But the truth of the is, truth of the matter is, it's our imagination. It's Alice in Wonderland. We go somewhere else. We let go of our life. We have our favorite fantasy, our favorite dream. Today, people think they're supposed to sleep on their problems. You know, we tell people, I'll give you an answer tomorrow. I want to sleep on it, which is a figure of speech. But literally, uh, one sleep expert that I have the book here, he says, sleeping, trouble sleeping is a thinking person's disease. We think we're supposed to try to go to sleep. We use the wrong word. You can't make yourself go to sleep. Sleep is about letting go. It's about going somewhere else. Uh, meditation can help us do that. But every time we go to bed, put your life in the closet with your clothes and just realize it's time to stop thinking. It's time to let go and Put yourself in your favorite vacation, your favorite place in the world. Go somewhere else. I tell people, uh, you know, lie there. If you're tired, you know, you might want to have a Russian novel at your bedside. You know, not anything that's going to stimulate you, know, like right. a John Grisham novel. A Russian novel puts you into the Brothers Karmazov and all the eloquentness of all those right. ballrooms, and you put yourself there. You, you know, you'll be asleep in one or two pages. And I suppose checking emails, checking social media, watching the news before you go to bed, having an argument, talking, those types of things aren't conducive to a good night's sleep. They are very important. I'm glad you brought that up because our devices get in the way. I have uh, glasses that I put on every evening for about an hour before I go to sleep that blocks out the blue light. Uh, as a doctor, I need to check my messages and things like that. But when I put on those glasses, mine are the common orange glasses, for example, but they block out the blue, as soon as I put those on, I can feel my eyes relax. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's an instantaneous awareness of your eye muscles relaxing when you block out that light. And that's an important step toward going to sleep. You've given us some really great ideas on how we can get to sleep. I'm actually already sleepy right now, just listening to, to it. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us about sleep because I know how important it is for our health. Well, I hope many of our listeners end up having a very good night's sleep, that it's been helpful to some. See if you have a secondary reason that you're not sleeping, but I think a lot of people can relate to these primary reasons of taking their problems to bed with them and not learning to let go of their life and go somewhere else. Hi, Dave. Hi, Lori. This is amazing. This looks so colorful. We have all kinds of ingredients here today. We're gonna to be making a Mediterranean uh, pasta dish, if you will, low carb, right? Yes, and the way that it's low carb is that we have replaced the normal pasta that you would use with a butternut squash pasta. Correct, yeah. You can buy this at the store already spiralized, or if you have a spiralizer, you can do it yourself. You just get the squash, peel it, and then run it through the spiralizer. I uh, did a shortcut and bought this at the store pre-done. So why don't we get started? Great. So I'm gonna start with heating up a pan, and we're going to put a little olive oil in there. Probably Olive about. oil is a staple of the Mediterranean diet, it is. after all. A little bit of garlic to get started. Then we're just going to stir the garlic around a little bit and then start throwing in our other ingredients. Mm, artichoke hearts. Little artichoke hearts marinated. Yep. Some Kalamata olives. Do you want to go ahead and throw in the peppers? Yes. You can do a little uh, red bell pepper. That's just one whole chopped pepper and then the yellow as well. It makes it so colorful. Yeah, it's got a lot of color. And we'll just get that heating through. And give it a little salt and pepper. You want to do the honor? Absolutely. I'm going to use fresh cracked pepper. It's, it's always the best. I agree. And there we go. I find the more colorful your diet, the more nutritious it is. That's true, very true. So I just put these vegetables in to give them a little bit of a head start because the peppers cook a little longer than the butternut squash. It cooks pretty quickly. 
So now that we've had that in there a minute or two, we can go ahead and add the butternut squash. Yeah, you don't want to overcook this, it gets mushy, right? Exactly. So what we're gonna do, kind of stir that around a little bit, and then I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water, and then just put a lid on it. So the noodles steam? Exactly, it'll gotcha. just steam through, we'll finish off. We'll turn the heat down. And while that's cooking, we could uh, cut up a little fresh tomato and parsley to put on our pasta. Great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and chop that. I'll do the tomato. Now we're using parsley, but could you use a different herb for a different flavor? Definitely, uh, basil would be fantastic mm. for this. Fresh basil, so mm -hmm. good. So, as far as the, the Mediterranean diet, it's pretty healthy, and why is that? It is because it is, you know, in many studies has been proven to be one of the diets that, where people live the longest. I see. It's anti-inflammatory and it's very high in healthy fats, mm -hmm. legumes, beans, olives, and low in saturated fats and animal protein. I see, okay. All right, perfect. Now that we've got this done, Let's check our uh, pasta. Okay. I always call it pasta. <laughs> Welcome to Gelato Granucci, the little shop with the big flavors. Gelato Granucci's brilliant flavor designers combine only the finest quality ingredients to make unique flavors fresh every day. Flavors like Amarena Sour Cherry, Tiramisu, and Joshua Tree Coffee. We have gelato cakes, gelato cannoli, pops, and pints to go. Located on North Palm Canyon in downtown Palm Springs. Gelato Granucci. Come experience the art of gelato. Jose Roman, Landscape Design and Maintenance. Call Jose Roman, 760-619-6033. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. Dr. Joe Sugar is going to tell us how to live a longer, healthier life. Restore Health is a personalized health service that will help you get back to living better. We work closely with you to create a lifestyle plan that best suits your goals and needs through better nutrition, exercise, sleep, and other factors. So, when you choose to restore your health, give us a call. All right, now that this cooked for a few minutes, just kind of steamed through, we can take it off the heat. And then we can add some parsley, okay. not all of it. Okay. Just like a little handful or two, and then we'll just toss it all in. Enough for color. Exactly, some of our tomato. I didn't put the tomato in and cook it through because it gets so soft so quickly. Right. That's why everything else has been cooked, but the tomato is still raw. So it'll just warm it up, is it? Exactly, the residual heat. Gotcha. There we go. Now, I did save the liquid from the artichoke hearts because these are the marinated ones. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that on there just for extra flavor because this marinade is delicious. Mm -hmm. And just add a little more flavor. And then uh, we'll just stir that around. Okay. You wanna grab the bowls there? There we go, this looks nice. And we'll just put some in the bowls. We'll put a little more parsley on. Mm. Now this dish, we're making this actually completely vegan. If you don't add the cheese, it would be vegan. Uh, but you could do this with chicken, with shrimp, any kind of protein that you like. And just put it right on top. Yep. A little more in okay. this one. There we go. Great. And then a little squeeze of lemon if you like. A little more parsley. Do you like Parmesan cheese? I do not. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, now it's really vegan. You're right. Okay, what are you? Well, yeah, put one on yours, how's that? Okay, and if you like, you can put a little Parmesan on top. Oh, it's beautiful. It makes it really pretty. 
Shall we take a taste? Let's do it. All right. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. mm. It's delicious. The noodles are done perfectly. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. Just a few minutes and that steam cooked mm -hmm. them all the way through. Yes, and the olives give it a nice punch. I'm gonna have <laughs> Oh, did you add some lemon to your eye? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add a little squeeze of lemon on mine. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> it's fantastic. Mm. Main course, side dish, you can use it for anything. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is, everything's anti-inflammatory, high in antioxidants, and so nutritious. Way Good. to go, Dave. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks you for coming by it. today. You bet. Living better thanks Red Jeep Tours by Desert Adventures for bringing closed captioning to the hearing impaired. Cheryl's here with me in the, in the blue room we call. How exciting, great energy, good vibes. Cheryl, how are you? Good, Arnell, thanks. F fantastic, yeah. great. So today, uh, as I, uh, we're gonna talk about slow motion strength training and the importance of it for your body, for, for your strength, for your endurance, for better posture. Follow along. If you feel any pain, stop. Don't do it, okay? So, Cheryl, go ahead and apply one foot here and the other one there. Good. So the most important thing, we're gonna put Cheryl in a great position. When it comes to slow motion strength training, how can she recruit the most muscle fibers to her tissue for, her, for better ligaments, uh, for, be, for better joints, so we don't use joints. Joints are very important not to use. So we wanna make sure that we, that we develop that strong muscle tissue all over our body, that's very important. So Cheryl, I'm gonna go ahead and give you this, just like so, and it's very important if you're at home sitting down. See how Cheryl is, she's in a great alignment right here that we see, she's gonna lean back a little bit, Cheryl, for me, and Cheryl, all we can do is simply have your elbows close to your body and come back and breathe out when you do that. Terrific, again, all you at home. Feel these little scapulas touch each other, this is very important, and slow down. If we are deconditioned, and we don't have that right muscle skeletal uh, a structure to help uh, our body, then we start using joints. By this actual program of slow motion, we are recruiting the muscle to support your joints, to support your ligaments, to support your tendons. This is very important right here. Hi, I'm Jan and welcome to Kitchen Kitchen. When you first walk in, you're gonna notice the wonderful aroma of our gourmet coffees. Peruse the well-stocked shelves filled with those unique and hard-to-find items and check out our wide selection of bakeware, barware, and barbecue, as well as our full line of quality cookware, cutlery, and gadgets galore. We also offer knife and scissor sharpening so you can shop while we sharpen. Need a gift? We have it for everyone on your list and even offer beautiful complimentary gift wrap. Follow me into the kitchen where we hold the cooking classes and private events. You may even catch a demo of our best-selling gadgets, such as the square egg press, the pineapple slicer, the apple peeler, the electric rotato, and my personal favorite, the chopper. Stop by Kitchen Kitchen today. Family owned and operated for three generations since 1979. So come on into Kitchen Kitchen. Hope to see you soon. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley. A place called home to anyone who needs one. A place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Come join us. You already belong. Bobby Botinas. Mexican and American Grill. Coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Lunch, happy hour, dinner, and evening entertainment. Bobby Botinas, coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Hi, Mark Anthony with Reverse Mortgage Work. You'd like to join thousands of people living better with the all new, lower cost, reverse or retirement mortgage? We don't have a celebrity spokesman. We're local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. Cheryl, put your hands nice and wide, just like so. Again, you at home, if you do have shoulder problems, any, any complications, if anything hurts, if you, go above your, if you go above your head, 
Please don't do this actual exercise at home. You ones that don't have shoulder problems at home, go ahead and join me in right here. Show, tilt your chin up a little bit for me. Look at this sign right here. And all I'm gonna do is we're gonna follow the same motion in how to recruit those abdomen muscle, that good strong core, and also the back muscles with a little bit of lats right here. So, Cheryl, look up a little bit for me, and all you can do is, with this middle piece of the bar, I want you to go all the way down to your chin, nice and slow, count 10, nine. Again, she's trying to make sure that she recruits her core to activate, but her back muscles as well, so also by this momentum that we're going nice and slow, she will not be using her neck, and she will be protecting her joints by activating it or, or, or having her muscles work a lot harder around her core, chest, and her back. Cheryl, don't forget to breathe. All of you at home, do not hold your breath. Anything that you pull down, make sure you breathe out. Another thing why this is important, remember when you all come home and how it is? You have a grocery bag or you have a pod that you need to put up in your kitchen? A very important way to also build those structures for certain functional activities that you do on a daily base. Cheryl, slow down when you go up. Remember, take your joints out of the picture. Slow motion training is directly focused on nothing but muscle fiber. Stronger your muscle fiber is, better control you have. It doesn't have to be this. It can be just by simply sitting in your car and just sitting against your car seat and knowing that your abdomen's activated or making sure that the core is working. If you're sitting at the dinner table, posture up, shoulders back, that core is working. Her back muscles are supporting everything. Always keep your shoulders back. All these exercises that we're doing is how to prevent injuries and how to promote better, healthier lifestyle. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome, Arnold. Fantastic. It was great having you here. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And all of you at home, you can do this at home. All you need is a stretching band and a door. I'm going to show you how to do that. All you can do is have your band go over the door, just like so. We're going to close the door. Don't let anyone open the door on you, okay? We don't want that band coming towards you. Same position that we have Cheryl in. Look at my posture, good position, I'm in the right position, and I'm gonna take this band. Remember, 10 seconds, if you don't wanna use your joints, you wanna use your muscle fibers. And as I pull this band towards my chest, and watch my lips, you can actually see me purse my lips and breathe out as I do this. For 10 seconds, you're gonna go down. Very nice and slow, I'm feeling my core activate, I feel my back activate, I feel my chest muscles. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the chest, and come back up, and again, when you go up, make sure you breathe in, very important, right? As we go up, we breathe in, slow 10 seconds, and as we bring the band to our chest again, breathe out, feel that core activated, feel your back muscles activate. Again, it doesn't take much. More that you're able, I'm gonna go very slow here, more that you're able to slow yourself down, more that you're gonna recruit the right muscles to work for you. That's very important. Don't do anything fast. Save your joints, save your ligaments to a taller you. What do we all do? Here we are. Save your joints, activate your muscle fibers. Please do it at home and make it a habit.